Week 7, Problem 9. A current of 15 milliamps is maintained in a circular loop of 3.4 meters. Man, that's a small current for a big loop. A magnetic force of 0.75 teslas is directed parallel to the plane of the loop. Okay, calculate the magnetic moment of the loop. Okay, let's, uh, let's Google this guy. Google? No. Google.com. <laughs> mm, darn you, Yahoo. All right. Magnetic moment of a loop. There we go. Mm, let's just go images. There we go. Mu equals IA. That's what we want. All right. So we're going to write that guy down. Oh. And let's do teal. I think that's a teal. So magnetic moment of a loop equals current times area. All right, so for magnetic moments, I would minimize actual thinking about this and just get reasonably familiar with how you can use the formulas. I assume you'll be given a formula sheet, and if not, memorize this. All right, so calculate the magnetic moment. Okay, that's, that's crazy easy. All right, so this is gonna be some sort of milliamps which is 15 equals 15 times 10 to the negative third okay excellent and then we have a circumference of 3.4 half of 3.4 is like what 1.7 so I'm going to say pi r squared so pi 1.7 squared I think that's all we do for the first part there's not even any crazy like, yeah. Hmm, it's almost kind of a letdown. All right, 15 times 10, 10 to the negative third times 1.7 squared times pi. 15 to the negative third, 1.7 squared, 0.137. All right. Ah, up, up. I'm going to get rid of the 10 to the negative third because I want it in milliamps. 136. Okay, we're going to, I'm good with that. And if for some reason you didn't know the formula, I would just dimensional analysis this guy. This is like, oh hey, take the current. Multiply by the area. Current times area. Bam, got it. Okay. What is the magnitude of the torque exerted by magnetic field on the loop? All right. It's a magnetic moment. Torque equals mu cross B. Okay. Torque equals magnetic moment cross magnetic field. Oh. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to take our 136. I'm going to leave it as 136 because this guy's in the middle of, that guy's in the middle of, and I'll leave it like that. Times magnetic field, 0.75. And we know that they are perpendicular, so we don't have to worry about the whole um, sine theta thing. It's just sine of, it's going to be sine of pi over 2, or 90 degrees, and that is just going to be 1. So 136 times 0.75. Hmm, maybe I can just do times 0.75. There we go. I didn't even get a more accurate answer. Good for me. Good for me. 102. So 102. So on a more conceptual level here, what they're saying here is you have a loop. I gotta draw this guy. I have a loop. Hoop, circle. Hoop, loop. Ah, oh, that was nice. No, don't draw the P. There we go. Hoop, P. There we go. With a current in it. And what that doing? What's that doing? Is creating a magnetic field. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be up and down. I'm kind of just drawing it crazy. Then we have another magnetic field. I'm going to say magnetic field in green, going this way. And what's going to happen 
is magnetic fields want to align. So you have a magnetic field like this, magnetic field like this, and they're going to move together to align. So what's going to happen is we have this circle in an infinite uh, magnetic field, something, something, something. What's going to happen is it's going to want to turn sideways. It's going to torque sideways. This is the whole idea of electric generators. So magnetic fields want to align. It's in their nature. It's what they do in life. All right, and that's all there is for this one. All right, on to problem 10.